Welcome back to Something Simple. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about days of obligations that we Catholics in the US are bound to. What are some of these days, actually may maybe all of the days of obligations that we have as Catholics? Let's get the days of obligation. First of all, we've got Sunday is the primordial day of obligation. We're required to go to Mass on Sundays. We also are required to go to Mass to observe the worship of God on six other days throughout the year. They are the Immaculate Conception, December 8th, Christmas, December 25th, January 1st. We've got the Ascension of Our Lord, which in the United States is usually moved to Sunday, but it's 40 days after Easter on Ascension Thursday. The Assumption of Our Lady on August 15th, and on November 1st we observe the Feast of All Saints. Those are the six days of obligation in addition to Sundays. And if you remember, of course, that Easter and Pentecost always fall on Sunday, you've got three days of Our Lady, Immaculate Conception, January 1st, Mother of God, and the Assumption Day in August. You've got several, four of them, of our Lord, the Incarnation at Christmas, um, the Easter, Ascension, Pentecost cycle, and then you've also finally got the celebration of the Church herself and her saints on November 1st. What are we required to do on Days of Obligation? Well, if they're required days of obligation, if we are able to, we should uh, rest from any unnecessary labor. We should also keep it holy by paying that honor, that, that, that duty of religion by going to Mass. I think, uh, and, and the rest of it is really, you know, a gift from God that we carve out, we sacrifice a lot of that time, spend with family, rest, and uh, take some time to contemplate what is being taught to us. Yeah, one of the reasons we have these days of obligation is because the church wants us to know kind of what are the basics of just being a Christian? What What is it, our minimum obligation? Like, how can we know that we are really actually doing what it requires to be a Christian? Um, one of those requirements is to come together for the worship. We don't live as Christians on our own. None of us can baptize himself. I mean, just very obviously. But we can't even live the, the Christian life on our own. And so we come together at least on the prescribed times and days in order to worship God corporately as a, as a whole church. Um, so we go to Mass. That's part of the obligation. Um, part of the obligation is also, as far as we're able to, um, to refrain from other works, right? We know in the United States especially, like your business is probably not going to give you the day off on November 1st. If you can take the day off, that'd be great. Um, we understand that, that, you know, there are practical realities there, but we should, as far as we're able, take the day as a day of leisure and rest. This is a gift from God to us. And obligation sometimes can make us, make it sound like, oh, there's something we have to do that we don't want to, right? As if it's imposed against our will. But I think it's better to look at it as this sense of just letting us know how do we live the faith? What, what is the minimum so that we know that we're at least in the right direction? I think one of the attacks that it, or criticisms is leveled at us as Catholics is that it's it's all about rules and obligations. If we reflect on our experience, there is no relationship where there is love present, that there are not also obligations and rules. If you want to live under my house, you live by my rules, sometimes the father will say to uh, a wayward child. There are obligations of husband and wife uh, so that they can live in harmony together. No one says that marriage is just about rules and obligations, although they have those obligations to feed their child, to put clothes on their backs, roof over their head, and provide for their well-being. Rather, it's a labor of love with obligations. And so this is just uh, a, a part of a church that actually loves. So if your church doesn't have obligations, you probably don't have one that loves either.